unaweza pata mtu ana matumbo yani tu wako mbaya ako decomposed ako skeleton una massage tu pole pole you massage the body gentle massage kama ni mkono amejikuja lazima utakujua mkidil na yeye utataka kumwambia funga macho maybe mtu ana resist kufunga macho mm. do they actually respond when you do tell yeah. them funga macho una respond positively unaona mtu ame respond amefunga macho kama ni mdomo amefunga na kuna wenye wanakataa so tukimtoa mtu alianguka upside down kichwa chini miguu juu so i thought mtu ameamka <laughs> mothers are everywhere but it's how you do that to a child Oh. Yeah, like so with the innocence. You are not in the in the same mental state. All right? Some point you have to exercise professionalism. Mm -hmm. And some point you have to exercise humanity. In a field that was previously mainly dominated by men, two ladies have taken on this profession with so much zeal and they are doing it with passion. We are here in Nakuru County to meet one Filinda Kamau and her counterpart Anne Mwangangi. She will tell us why she chose this profession and sometimes some of the strangest things she does in her job. Like for example, she does speak to her clients. Why does she do that? Well, she will tell us. Welcome to today's episode of My Story. My name is Yvonne Kawira. I'm Filinda Kamau. Mm -hmm. 20 probably niko 27, niseme 27. Mm -hmm. mm, Yonaingia 27 sijafika. Eh, uh -huh. mother, I'm a sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And I'm a mortician are, too. And you're a mortician. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting a for that. A proud mortician. Bit. It's amazing because I have seen you trending on TikTok and the stories that you share. What inspired you to become a mortician? Okay, let me say it is just by a passion. Uh, it is a passion. Mm -hmm. But si kutaka kufanya kukuwa mortician at first. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa nataka kusomea nurse ama udaktari. Mm -hmm. But due to financial breakdowns atukuweza Mm. Sasa nikajipata niko hapa. Ulipata options zingine uko na this is afadhali ama e, kuna mtu alikuwa na niofa mm -hmm. vacant ya kukuwa teacher nisome kukuwa mwalimu but si kupenda. Mm. And this is a passion. Yeah. Right. Tell me take me to the first day after you decided you were going to study. Uh, what's that cost when you want to be a mortician or mortuary science? Mortuary science. Yeah. So the first time you decided you want to take mortuary science. What do, do they do? do did they introduce you to the you know the world of what it takes to be a mortician Okay niseme hii course hata mimi sikuwa naijua mm -hmm. I never knew about this course but kuna a priest a Catholic priest alikuwa anatuumbilia huko kwetu ndio aliniona huko nyumbani akaniuliza what am I doing there na nafaa kukuwa shule kama wengine so nikamwambia jua kuna pesa I'm just waiting siku yenye nitapata pesa nitajie, nitaenda shule mm -hmm. Aha, akani, akaenda akafikiria kurudi akaniambia kuna hii course kazi yake anafanya na akani introduce kwa hii course tukaenda tukaongea na kazi yake kidogo na nika prefer nitafanya hii course mm -hmm. juu iko under medical okay. field yeah. it's still close to what you wanted yeah. to do in mm -hmm. alafu tena nilikuwa na hiyo mentality nikikuwa motician ni kama tu bado daktari juu unasaidia daktari in pathologist i can do Yeah, I can handle a bo dead body. Niko na hizo mandawa. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, my name is Anne Njoki. Ah, uh, alias Anne Mwangange. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you've said I'm a mortician by profession. Um, six years and counting mm -hmm. professionally. Uh, born and bred in Nakuru County. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, working in Laikipia County, Nyahuru to be precise. And um service is what I do best. Mm -hmm. And uh serving the last office is what I've majored in. Yes. You call it the last office. It is the last office. When people befriend you and then they find out mm -hmm. what you do for a living, mm -hmm. has that impacted your friends at one point and how do you handle it? Uh to be honest, you you get friends across the radius that you are. It's hard for someone in Mombasa to befriend me and they don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. Right? So mostly my circle is surrounded by medics. People who actually are literate and understand. Mm -hmm. Actually it's more of a conversation starter than a 
you know, being stereotyped and everything. Mm-hmm. People are, I take it from a point of curiosity. People don't ask from a bad place. People want to know. It's just curiosity. You know, when they ask you these questions, you don't bash them or you know, you just like, just answer because you know, at a, you don't know everything also, yeah? Yes, yeah, so it's from a point of curiosity. And I've made friends. I've had friends through my line of work and it has brought me good ones. Yeah, I will say that, yeah. The first time we'll in your class, mm-hmm. Now, I can think in you that for real, you are going deal with the deceased. Okay. When is the first interaction you had with them and how did that affect you? Were you scared? Were you non-reactive? How are you? I was scared. 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 I so hiyo siku nilishtuka sana. Njoo tulionyeshwa mili za accident, tunaonyeshwa the huge bodies and I was like, I am I going to do this work? Mm. You for a second you doubted you. Yeah, I doubted. <laughs> <laughs> Na nikaji doubt pia mimi mwenyewe nikasema hii hapa. Kitu wenye ili ni encourage hapo sasa kufanya ni eti nilikumbuka nimelipa school fees ah. up front. Mm-hmm. So I went to you had to take yeah, it head yeah, on. Yeah. All right. So you study for how long do you? Okay, need to study for three months, a certificate course. Halafu internship ni kind of six months. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so far you worked for how long? Okay, nilianzia kazi 2015. Yeah. Wow, up mm. to now. Yeah, up to now. Why did you decide to post your experiences on social media? Actually, my first video nikiwa kwa mo, kwa mochari nili post last year. That is 2022. That is when I went I came into TikTok ama to social media. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa mbado na ogopa. Njota nilipost na nikazima simu. Nione venye watu <laughs> sasa. Mtaki <laughs> reaction. <laughs> <laughs> tena nilikuwa na njua ukingia kwa social media lazima utatukanwa, lazima yeah, watu watakufungia. So I was like, hi. Yabu nizime simu alafu niki akisha, nitakuwa prepared in mind kitu wenye nitapatana na ayo. Mm. Mm. Wow. And how was the reaction from people? Okay. Wengine walifurai. Mm-hmm. Sana. Reaction ya kwanza by the way ilini encourage sana. Njuhu wow. wengi walini encourage. Waka nipigia masimu. Oh, tumekuona. Yo ni kazi mzuri. I want to do the same course as you do. Oh. Yeah. So you inspired yeah, people. Yeah. I wrote people. Now you feel like Alafu venye uh, nilingia kwa TikTok, video yangu ya kwanza ikachukuliwa na tuko. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. My first video. I remember that yeah. story actually. Mm of you just explaining. So kila mtu alikuwa anatumia screenshot. Mm-hmm. I have seen you. Yeah. <laughs> and now we are here being a follower. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why I got on TikTok. Is to demystify, yeah? It is to create a newer perception. And the fact that other people have now embraced it. I see there are other morticians on board doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. I can say I'm actually proud, yeah? That we are changing. It's a movement. That people need to understand it's there then it's part of us. You cannot embrace hospital and shun away mog. All right? Mm-hmm. There is no you want to see procedures happening in theater, but you don't want to see procedures happening in something that will must happen. Not most of us will end up in theaters, but we are intrigued. But all of us mostly will end up in mortuaries. So it's a matter of priority. Uh, you feel Haikua dominated by female uh, people before? Mm. What what's uh, was the experience like like dealing with other it's a, it was a generally a male dominated sector okay How hata tukisoma tulikuwa just four ladies oh the rest yeah. were male yeah the rest were male mm-hmm. but as for me nilikuwa nataka sana mm-hmm. hata nikiingia nilijiambia nilikuwa naambia unajua hiyo kazi yenye unaenda kufanya haina wana wanawake wana nikasema mm-hmm. i can start kitu yenye wanaume wanafanya hata mimi naweza taka kukua among them? Uh, yeah, among them. No, if you any your best. Mm. Wow, and, and look at you now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's something mm. I saw you post on, on your social media. Mm-hmm. Ukisema you engage in small talk with the deceased. Yeah. Muna wambia nini? Okay. Na mbona muna fanya yuvo? Kichu nye mi usema, uh-huh. mwenye mekufa, ndi olafiki yangu. Wow. Yeah. He's, oh, he or she is my best friend. At that point? Yeah. Judy and I mean, pay a kazi. He feels my family, yeah. So, so akikuja, mm-hmm. nikikuwa na ee, achana na hii space yenye na mwadmit hivyo, nikikuwa na ee hapa kwa meza, nita mmasanji mwidi, nikimmasanji lazima nikae, nimuambia kaya at the light full position, 
yenye watu wake wataweza kumuona na namwambia kama sasa yako hapo sasa mkidil na yeye utataka kumwambia funga macho maybe mtu ana resist kufunga macho mm. do they actually respond when you do tell yeah. them funga macho wana respond positively unaona mtu ame respond amefunga macho kama ni mdomo amefunga na kuna wenye wanakataa so kikata unafanya nini fingenda sasa kikata sasa hapo ndio unatumia force <laughs> unafuga sasa you and you forces. use force <laughs> yeah you use force ndio unataka eh, familia wakikuja eh, ya comply na familia wapate the best wasikuje tena the young raven watoke na hiyo uchungu oh, yeah. Yeah. na hiyo the last see. picture ndio mtu anaendanga nayo nyumbani mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wow mm-hmm. all right so the reason nawaambia from what i'm getting mm-hmm. the reason nawaongelesha is so that at least you have some form of yeah. an agreement yeah na lafu mm-hmm. inasaidianga the family to heal mm-hmm. ukikuja ukiona mwili amefungua macho mark my wants utawai sahau you never forget ndio utaona kama askia ku yeah lakini ukipata mtu amelala peace free amefunga macho mdomo utasema huyu mtu ataja kufa mm. so that's na like utahila laka mm. mm. He saizo na waongelesha this is a strange question. Are you alone in the whole space? Yeah. With the you person? can be alone. Unazipatanga shift zingine uko peke yako. And you're not scared to talk to this person anymore. Yeah, unaweza jipata hata uko night shift. Ah ah ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What? You introduce yourself to the deceased. Why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know where you borrowed that from. I ah. see it on your TikTok. <laughs> so, ah, yes. n- people will say it's um that's a department like any other. Mm-hmm. No one has died and told us how it goes, right? Yeah. So this is a, this is my client. My client is on the table. I might not know what happens across the board, but it's only catches to introduce yourself. Some of these procedures are very invasive. You'll be getting cotton wools in places you shouldn't be getting them, right? You're handling people who are old enough to be your grandfather. So it's only catches for you to at least, you know, be catches and introduce yourself uh, and probably ask for permission for whatever you're about to do. Yeah, you never really know what happens, so you don't have room for assuming, right? Yeah, I don't like assuming things. What if the, the spirit is still lingering around? really gets irritated with what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's this thing that's called uh, the, where, where the muscles contract. Mm, Riga mortis. Riga mortis. Mm. The first thing that the first time that happened, how was what was your reaction? Hey. Me. <laughs> And first of all, <laughs> describe what Riga mortis is. Okay, Riga mortis ni setting setting the features. Okay. Una kujua kama ni mkono, maybe mtu amekufa kama amejikuja, una kujua anakaa in a lightful position. Yeah. Mm. So rigamotis is returning the body In, uh, or relaxing the muscles yeah, to the relax, to yeah. no more vile mtu analala kiu. Mm. So you, there's a whole thing what mm. you do to make sure they mm. in the right full. Na before position. to make the preservation okay. your solution mm-hmm. lazima to set his features. And how do you do that? Una massage to pole pole. You massage the body gentle massage kama ni mkono amejikuja lazima utakujua. Mm. So unaenda kuweka maybe dawa unapata mtu ana anakujua mikono kidole mm. maybe mtu hata anaweza kufungua macho yeah. <laughs> well, anaweza jipi ya mapu mm. tears can come out yeah. oh wow so hizo ni vitu zenye tuna understand for you these things are normal yeah they are normal hey mm. you have done this for eight years yeah there must be the most heartbreaking thing you have encountered mm. while job yako what was it heartbreaking nina nimeona nimeletewa mtoto mdogo mhm ama mtu mwenye ako na familia dogo kuna mtu amekufa na ako na familia dogo wenye watu wana grief kuria unajua hiyo kuria iko sana mm-hmm. so nasikia kana nikiwa at broken sana mm-hmm. na najiuliza maswali mingi why this person had to go at this time Again I will say is the, the how people kill. You did handle a lot of this kid. Mothers are everywhere, but it's how you do that to a child. Oh. Yeah, mm. like so with the innocence. I don't yes. think I don't think there is any parent out there that would wrong you to an extent of wanting to harm their children mm. as much. Eh? So there are things that come and you're like 
Yeah. Every day, every day, as I told you, brings its own set of challenges. You never really know what will pop up in your cold room. So I wouldn't say there is the scariest because I'm yet to leave my scariest, okay. you know, moments. Okay. Yeah, because every day brings its own presence, its own things. Have you ever been scared in your line of work? And what happened that day? I will say I'm usually bothered by by when someone stops, especially when it comes to matter. People can be brutal out here. Yeah. So the questioning is at what point did they stop? When you find somebody with like multiple stab wounds and they are all over and you can only imagine this person was begging to be spared. And you're like, at what point did this person come back to their senses and stop? You understand? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's more of questioning than scare. You question the existence and the process of people. You're like, how inhumane can people get? Mm. Yeah. It does change your perception about life also. Mm -hmm. That una view life differently. Mm -hmm. Is it because you've seen death so up close? Mbaka for you, um, it's become like you have to be intentional how you live your life. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Okay. As for me, mm -hmm. me wanna life. Life is situation easy, Angie. But I when I say I'm ka, so easy. Ne maybe masazingi ne ukose mo nyamu mm -hmm. So wana ishi my shayangu yaki saio. I don't think about what uh, what is after. Mm -hmm. So when I say ma, maybe what what is going to happen? Niki kufa. What am I going to leave behind? Who am I? Yeah. Ah, mm. And how are your relationships yeah. with people? Yeah. That's very mm. important. I like that this career has not only shaped you professionally, but even socially. Mm. Even your friends, like you choose them wisely yeah. and you value friendship. Yeah. Do you want to disappoint? Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't we all experience <laughs> that? You want to get married? Yes. You want to get tubia mutesha na ama kufanya kazi kwa mogu lazima ukue drunk and yes. lazima ukue mtu amejisa hao hey, you, you don't value man. yourself so unaweza kuwa mko na marafiki ama uko na rafiki alafu maybe mmekosana hiyo time ndio anakuja kukutoa nguo mbele ya watu mm. yeah. kama mimi hapo kitambo kama ungesema mimi nafanya kazi kwa moja tungekosana sikuwa nimekubali there's something you were telling me earlier about mm -hmm. some of the things that make you job a bit difficult especially with interaction with the family of the deceased what advice would you give them especially when they bring a loved one and they want to interact with them okay my advice to the grieving family ni sasa yenye mtu amekufa muache tu akue tu the person cannot wake up aezi kuja back to life again so hii naonanga watu sana sana wanakuja ku view the body most of the time akiwa amekufa mnamletea maua you bring the person most expensive things yenye Lord. yeah mm. zenye aku anapata akiwa ai mm. alafu mnamtaka kumuongelesha maybe umeachanisha mtu for the last of 10 years hata ujui maybe unakuja ujui sura yake ujui kama alikuwa mnono ama muslim yeah siezi taka yani naweza taka watu wa jirimit njoo hata sisi kama mutations wanatupeanga hand time yeah. sana maybe mtu anakuja atasema huyu si yeye ameslim sasa hajamuona kwa mm. atasema mimi eh hey, huyu mtu amebadilika hakuwa hivyo na wewe umefanya kazi yako to your perfection alafu mtu anakuja anasema amekuwa mweusi you don't know mtu akikuwa mgojo amepitia stages gani mm. mm. okay. so we discourage the also tukikuja tuki lazima tuku oji kidogo ile time yenye umekana huyu mtu ni nani kwako tunaweza kukataza kuona mtu. Tukwambie ukuje the very last day. Mm. Wow. Mm. Are there strange things family uh, the deceased don't kwambie ufanye on their loved ones? Yeah. What are these things? Can you tell me a few? Maybe five or ten. Sije kama is okay disclosing it on social media. The names of the people of course, <laughs> but the things they have asked you to. Okay, unaweza patana na watu wanakwambia uwekee mtu panga uweke kwa jeneza maybe hiyo siku ya kutoa mwili unaambiwa umweke panga na torch na kuletea hiyo panga yeah. na torch na torch and you do these things feel like i don't i don't huwa anapea familia the chance or do it themselves yeah unaweza pata mtu amekuletea shidano anakwambia udunga dunge kwa mwili i don't i just i na wanasema watakulipa oh extra money but i don't 
Juu si believe na hizo vitu na huwa naamini as long as nimeact ju mimi naamini hizo ni vitu za culture ama witchcraft mm. let me say witchcraft i'm involved in that and I'm a Christian yeah to play a part mm. in that be it the broom, the torch, the sleeping position of the person in the casket. Mm. They, are, they are cultural, let's call some of them as spiritual or something. So you don't have to really like, you know, understand everything. It's not in your place to understand, but just to accommodate everyone. Mm. Yeah. What are the beautiful things you do to the deceased? Makeup. Sure makeup. <laughs> yeah, that is the best part. Uh -huh. Makeup is in uh, as the living use. Are they the same as the ones that are used on the Zingine ni the same juna una squeeze is me advance. Okay. Yeah. Um so from lipstick to foundation yeah. to everything. Mm. You do all of yeah. that. Nail polish. Nails kila kitu. So other than being gel. Gel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you seem to enjoy this. This, this is ah, something this, this is, is like your favorite part, part yeah. of. Natakanga kuona mtu akitoka na ni tu ako sawa. Hata huwa anachukua mapicha. Na naona na admire to the person. Yeah. Hata kwa men wa tunapaka makeup. Mm -hmm. mm. um, there is makeup for the deceased, but it's very expensive. Mm. All right. So we work with what we have, and that is the makeup for the for the living. Yeah, you need to check also the budgets, the the cultural existence of you know people fear death. Yeah. Very few people embrace the aspect of now you want to make this person look good. All right. Not everyone will embrace that. Some of them don't even care. They're like, see, they are gone. Why are we bothering that much, you know? Or like, but there's no money, you know? So um, by the end of the day, it's just what the family wants. Whatever we do to you is what your family oh, wants. Yeah, yeah. What is the most memorable experience you've had in your career? Hey, I ran out of the window. Hey, me, I would <laughs> run here right now. If anything happened, we're just here. Yeah. What made you run? Nilienda kutoa mtu vivin. So, kuna tulikuwa na mikorix hapo na tuko student to sisao. So, kuna vitu zingine nimekuanga nikisikia mtu anafufukanga, mtu anaamkanga hivyo. So, tunaenda kutoa mtu, alafu fridge ikakuwa na breakdown kidogo. Sijui ni kuteleza ama ni si hata sikubuki what happened. Na alikuwa huko juu kwa cabinet ya juu. So, tukimtoa mtu alianguka upside down. Kichwa chini miguu juu. So I thought mtu ameamka. Mimi <laughs> nilikimbia. <laughs> Nilishikiwa kwa huko kwa gate nikitoka. Did this make you doubt your guy like don't this so many. Hata nilienda ku confirm kama ukweli huo mtu ameako hai. Oh. Mm. Hey, that is my worst. Hata ukiwa huko let me say hata sisi twenye tunafanya hii kazi huwa tuko na uoga. Okay. We are also human beings. Mm. So unaweza pata uko peke yako na ni usiku na hukuacha mko na mtu mwingine alafu saa udama something kitu tu inatokea tu. Mimi nilikuwa nikuuliza hiyo because I'm wondering. Unashtuka. Sikuingia nilikuwa live on TikTok. Halafu ice ika break kwa fridge. Me I thought is a person mwenye ameamka and I was all alone it was on a weekend. How did that make you feel? Hey, nilishtuka. <laughs> hey. Where well, maybe that explains why kulikuwa na hiyo myth ya watu lazima wakuwe high on something. <laughs> but I don't believe on that. <laughs> you do this normally. Normal, normal, normal. Mm. normal Kitu nyetu natumia ni maombi sana yeah. na maziwa. Huwa tunakunywa maziwa kwa wingi. Oh, mm. milk. Yeah. Why is that? Why milk? Juu ya hizi chemicals zenye tunatumia. Mm -hmm. mm. Zina affect sana. sana. They are cancerous. Oh. Yeah. So milk and does the effect yeah. of the the drugs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sana. There's something you mentioned. Ukasema kwamba sometimes these people who have passed on wanakata kupele kwa like wakiingia kwa gari it's not starting. Like they're not complying. Yeah. We're going to that is cult. So have you experienced such a thing? Yeah. Mtu anaingizwa kwa gari sana sana mimi nasemanga ni mtu kama elewani na familia yake. Ndio at the end mm -hmm. familia yake tu ndio itakuja kuongea na huyu mtu ama kumu sasa hapo mtakubali family ingi. Eh sasa tutakubali familia ingi. Maybe hata inafanyika kwa barabara. Mtu anaenda kukaribia kwa boma, gari ina breakdown. Na si hata gari ina breakdown nakataa kwenda. Na kuna issue mm. kwa gari. Na gari haina issue yote. But huyo mtu akiongeleshwa ama badilishwa kichwa yaangalie kwenye ametoka, gari inaenda. So nasemanga hizo ni vitu za hata sitakangi kuingilia sana. Nasemanga hizo ni vitu za family. Ni no, wafanye mambo mm. yao. Ni advice gani unaweza taka kupatia the families because yeah. we do not wish them to experience grief but it's a normal life journey for all of us. Okay, mimi usema kama mtu amekufa mm -hmm. in a certain family mm -hmm. the hiyo familia 
the nuclear family ni vizuri kwenda kuona mwili kwa mochari and, and wataweza no, kuheal sure. yeah mtu aki ukikuja uone mwili na vinya mekwa hata muongeleshe do anything you want to do with that body utaheal alaka kushida mtu mwenye amekaa nyumbani hataki contact na huyo mtu hataki hata kumkaribia hataki kwenda kwa mochari yeah so when, and as I advise the family kama mtu amekufa wewe enda tu uone mwili usikuje kusema ati acha na naye ana nguvu huyo mtu ako na nguvu mm. you just don't know yeah. how much they can take mm. wow mm. um the final thing before we wrap up mm-hmm. kuna watu wangependa kukuwa kama wewe what does it take both professionally at emotionally and financially as well if you have a rough idea how much they charge now because it was 8 years ago mm. so first of all how what does it take emotionally to handle this kind of thing you said you have to be very prayerful yeah do you have you taken a course in counseling do you go for counseling yourself yeah. tell us more for counseling mm-hmm. so, gina, so, maybe nimekutana na mwili ya accident unaweza pata mtu ana kichwa na inakushtua ina atonement unaweza pata mtu ana matumbo yani tu wako baya ako decomposed ako skeleton yeah what tunaenda kanzuri sana sana mm-hmm. okay, kama kuna mtu anaweza taka kufanya hii course usifanye juu ya pesa ati mm-hmm. maybe course iko na pesa ama nini kama una passion na si wito usiende kufanya hii kazi ju utaharibia wenye wako na passion ya kufanya hiyo kazi na utaribu the field yeah. itself ju utaenda kufanya kazi mm-hmm. juu ya pesa wewe uefanye kazi juu ya passion ama unaitaka. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So kama unataka mm-hmm. kufanya kazi kuwa na passion kwanza. Alafu kuwa mtu prayerful. Si lazima utumie drugs mm-hmm. ati ukitaka kufanya mochari science hapana. So we day kwa on drugs at all. I've never have never been I on like drugs. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Another thing. Mm. Uh, do you know how much it costs right now? Maybe roughly in that field too. So kisa hizi kuna nikisoma kukuwa diploma mm-hmm. kulikuwa just certificate size so kuna diploma ni 3 months KMTC walianzia kuna Chiromo campus iko size so wana chance roughly 60000 for the whole course yeah mm-hmm. 3 months course but as from next year 2024 what are you fanya ikuwe one year course mm. certificate mm. wow and I'm in the grade of C Cyprian and above mm. do you have to be good in certain subjects to no, take no, up no, this no. Uh, na chukwanga kila kitu general mm. bora you have the willingness yeah. uh, and the courage na wana naambia mtu kuna wengi sana wananitafuta maybe kwa tiktok kwa youtube wananiambia wanaweza taka kufanya mocha de science ama kukua kama mimi wengi wanasema naweza taka kukua kama wewe before ule, uende ulipe school fees just for volunteer anywhere ah uh, to see if you can handle it yeah. just oh, really volunteer important. lazima ua, ujue kama unaweza handle familia yenyewe wenye wana grief Ojia kama unaweza handle maiti yenyewe. Hmm. Familia ki grief, are there some things you were trained to do? Yeah, lazima kuna some language of high kutumia kwa mtu mwenye ana grief na lazima ukuwe na respect pia. You are trained and most importantly is the understanding that um, you are not in the in the same mental state. All right? some point you have to exercise professionalism mm-hmm. and some point you have to exercise humanity all right so you're presented by someone who's lost a child mm-hmm. it's a lot of weight around that presented by someone who's just been called their spouse has just had an accident these people you cannot fit them in a box mm-hmm. it's a matter of embracing everyone as they come knowing what to say what not to say Sometimes we say wrong things thinking we are saying the right things to fill in for the silence but uh it's a matter of you know when you serve sometimes you don't have to say a lot mm-hmm. it's just by how you serve that some of them get consoled in the process they are like we brought our person looking like this now they look like this the surety of them going home and they are like you know what we have left our mom in safe hands mm-hmm. that brings a lot of closure All right. So it might not be grief 100% helping, but at least that one mile walking with that family, you know you did your part. Na ujue mtu anaweza kuwa na grief. Na njia yake ya kugrief as long as hajakunywa pombe, hawezi kuja kuona 
marehemu ama kuwa na mwili so lazima alewe na unajua mtu akiwa mlevi anaweza fanya anything anaweza kukutusi yani he can do anything to you so mm. kama language gani ndio mnakataza kutumia well, the harsh language is oh you can't be rude to them yeah. hata akikutusi don't reply back it takes a lot of energy mm. to not so much to engage <laughs> <laughs> that's why you grace kwa wewe ndio utafanya aishi kukumbuka right the yeah, experience the person, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. so just leave the person behind fanya kazi yako akimalizana venye anafanya atakuacha tu mm. Mm. wow yeah. parting short as we wind up what is the one thing you would like kenyans to know about this job of a mortician this yeah, good these people are good people i have seen <laughs> <laughs> is the best work ever <laughs> i've never ni ata kosi ni mzuri kama mtisha na work na watu wenye msubuani your clients mm. they are peaceful they ever ever peaceful and that's what you ta let a fujo wao wana fujo mm. wow hakuna kalia ingine yenye utapata na mtu mwenye ni client lakini anafuata everything yeah. you telling mm. hey wow and you are the one you are the boss there you are the master Eh au wengine hata ukiuza viatu atakwambia kama ni mimi nanunua lazima nitabagei nikwambie hiki kiatu si mzuri hivyo na utabaki ukiwa na na mm. maswali sana. Mm. But who everything you yeah, say? Ni nafanya mimi ndio nitahakikisha the person is on a perfect mode. Kuna wakati unafanyia watu make up na maybe hataki hiyo and how do you know? Like you are saying when okay. the dead communicates to you you should listen. Well, how do they communicate? Okay kama ni makeup tuseme ni makeup nafanyia siwezi fanya fanya mtu makeup kama sijauliza familia okay maybe kwa familia wako wanajipaka makeup maybe so kwa mtu mwenye amekataa makeup so lazima yeah. niulize some things kutoka kwa familia uh-huh. nikiona kama kuna watu maybe anataka kufanyia makeup na hawana uwezo lazima nitawafanyia don't charge me nitawafanyia tu for free nione tu huyu mtu ameridhika na ame grieve in a proper way. Mm-hmm. Na siseme kama ningekuwa na pesa babangu angeenda vizuri, mamangu wow. angeenda mzuri, mtoto wangu angeenda mzuri. Even tunanunua nguo sisi wenyewe. Wow. Unapata mtu ameletoa nguo mzee, nguo. Yaani unaona tu ni uwezo wa wana. Nguo imelaruka, mbaya, chafu. We clean them, we wash. Wow. Yeah. Na oh, tuna unaweza kuja upate tumeanika nguo huku. <laughs> na tuna iron tunapiga pasi. Hey, it takes grace. Yeah sasa ingine wow. unakaa tu unapata tu watu wanakupigia simu you did the best my mom those are blessings yeah. you, you did taking. the best to my dad yeah. and that is the best part nikisikia tu hivi ah yeah. nasikia tu i'm encouraged to mm. continue to continue the same path how do you debrief yourself because it can be too much at some point uh, everyone <laughs> yeah everyone has their own way uh facility that I work with provides counselors So if you feel you're a bit overwhelmed or really overwhelmed, uh, you always have someone to talk to professionally. Um, but with the time, I think God allows you to have it easy, even when it becomes overwhelming. So you don't even remember what you saw. Mm-mm, you don't remember. So like your brain just shuts down some part. I think the brain also wants to work for you. So <laughs> uh, it doesn't carry a lot of burdens home. So yeah. Yeah it it facilitates that yeah people meet you in the middle they start by talking and then they like okay she's mm-hmm. doing it they draw inspiration from you so by the end of that day be you and let your heart lead all right and everything else aligns itself wow filinda thank you so much for allowing us time to even come to your space and sharing with us your experiences and your knowledge you're very very wise uh, we appreciate your time na tunakutokea kila laheri endelea ku inspire youth hapo nje na kazi yako endelee kubarikiwa i know it's not easy but you have changed the perception of many people even on social media about this kind of work and i'm sure in the next coming years tutapata many female in this sector also ambao me inspire because like you said there are people even in your inboxes asking how to be like you thank you so much even as we think about the various career opportunities that people have out there the various things that people do and the misconceptions that we have about the professions and especially what people like Anne do now you know where to go to get the correct information and thank you so much for always coming back to us and supporting our guests 
Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show. My name is Yvonne Kawira. Until next time, keep it to go.